Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, good morning, YouTube. I am back with you this morning to show you what I've been up to. I and uh, happy Labor Day to all you people. Uh, yesterday, while I was doing nothing, I uh, decided to work on this uh, speaker. That's the original speaker, the one from Cutworms Radio. I ended up taking that whole piece out of there. As you can see, it was all through here. It was uh, it's pretty pretty real ragged. Uh, it was not going to be able to be stretched back like it was. So let me put this out of the way a little bit. Anyway, the uh, the thing I'm going to do is take the other speaker, which uh, I've already started on it. I've cut the gasket out out of here, and I'm basically going to cut around through here and take a piece and piece that in there. So that's the uh, plan anyway. Um, I don't think it'll be too hard. I, I just want to make sure I get all of the uh, get or the uh, cone to come out with the uh, where I cut and make sure I can get all that back in. And I'll probably just cut it to fit and then then take some of this uh, coffee filter and overlap that. It's got wood shavings in it. Anyway, that's the plan. So I want to see what I can do here real quick. I think I'll do some of this on camera. Um, try out my new X-Acto knife set here. See how those work out. They are razor sharp. Basically, I want to so run the motorcycle. I couldn't hear at first what that was. I'm trying to figure out how far over I need to go. I think. I just go ahead and cut it here and then I can cut around here and get that. I think that's the way to, to go. So let's do that. This stuff is pretty pretty brittle. Hoping I can cut it to fit like I need it. I'm hoping it comes apart from the speaker frame. That's what I'm hoping. Am I cutting it a little bit too big? Well, a good bit too big. I think I'll come out ahead. I can just trim it up to fit the space there. The next thing I want to do is try to get this out from underneath here after I trim this. Oop. There we go. Now I may need 
need my my better eyes for this. I'm sorry if I don't get this in. If I could just get a screwdriver under there, it'd be easier than. I think I'm going to end up tearing it. It's a little bit harder to get at than you would think. Well, I guess maybe not than you would think, but let me try changing the, to the smaller one. If I can get under there a little bit easier with that. Some of this I probably won't put on this video. It's a little bit tricky. And I'm probably just running it. I want to see what I could do. It's not coming off. I think I may have enough to uh, use the, uh, what do you call it, to piece it in. I hope. Coffee filter, that's what I was going to say. on this side a little bit. for what it's worth. That's, that's all I'm going to get out of it. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Now, like I say, I think I can fit that in there where it needs to go. Cut that to fit. And I'd like to get it as, as close to that as I can. So, you know. That doesn't even appear to be the same. I guess maybe it is. Well, no, it's got three rings. This one's only got two. Hmm. It's actually a different different style cone. I didn't notice that when I was doing it. Anyway, I think I can still fix, make it work. And that's the plan anyway. So. 
Let me cut this off and I'll have to cut that to fit a little bit better than it is. I'll bring you back for that.